Hi Olivia crew, Beth here with your yoga today. If you happen to have a yoga strap, go ahead and grab it. If you happen to have a um, tie for like a bathrobe, that works just as well. So we'll just do a couple of poses with the strap um, or your bathrobe. If it doesn't work for you, that's okay too. Don't worry about it definitely can do without. All right, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's start in a standing position today. So we'll mosey over back into our mat, grounding those feet into the mat, spread the toes wide. Inhale, lift when you're ready. Feel free to bend the toes or bend the knees. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Think about breathing some gratitude into the body. Let's just let go of everything. Just spend some time just with you. And gently, gently release right here. Inhale, roll the shoulders high. Exhale, roll them back and down. Couple more here. Last one. Now let's take that chin to the chest. Relax that chin down. Let the weight of the head do all the work. Nice neck stretch. Go ahead and wiggle your neck side to side, nice and gentle. Inhaling and exhaling. And when you're ready, we'll look forward, neck parallel, bring the shoulders up, back and down, lengthen through the spine. Inhale, lift one last time. Let's come to heart center. Awesome. And then from here, let's go ahead and bend those knees ever so slightly, coming to that forward fold. It's going to reach down towards those toes. Now, if you're stiff for whatever reason and you're like, oh, no way I'm not getting those toes today, totally fine. Don't worry, just go where you can go. Knee bent, completely fine. No worries. We'll take that halfway lift. So we bring our back flat, shoulders are down. Inhale, exhale. Let's take that forward fold, coming down. Knees definitely can be bent, they can be straight. Halfway. And forward fold. And one more, inhale, halfway. And forward fold. When you are ready and not before, let's walk the hands out into our downward dog. And if you're feeling like you've got a lot of energy, you want to hop it to the downward dog, you go right ahead. We're going to wiggle that downward dog, move around in it, bring those knees in and out. Think about biceps covering ears. Think about elbows out. If you can spread those fingers out wide, go for it. From here, let's roll up onto the toes and then push those heels down a little bit as we come back. Roll up onto the toes and bring the heels down. Just a couple more here. One last one. Onto the toes, heels push down. And then let's just go right to our tabletop. We're going to bring our knees right underneath the heels. And we take those wrists right underneath the shoulders. And just wiggle them around in it. Woohoo! I like tabletop. Go ahead and give yourself some cat and cows. We drop the belly open, the heart and the chest with that beautiful inhale and exhale. Bring the belly up and arching the back. Cow, drop down and open. And go ahead and arch that back for the cat. Connecting with your breath, your 
amazing, beautiful breath that is only yours. We'll meet you back in that tabletop position. Go ahead and we'll move around a little bit. Let's stretch out our wrist a tiny bit. I don't know about you, if you've been outside working, doing all the spring stuff, and your wrist might be like, oh, they might need a little attention. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the wrist out to the side, fingers go out to the side, and then very gently kind of go forward and back, Nice stretch. If at any time this is uncomfortable, don't go here. Just kind of throw your weight back. If no pressure on the wrist is where you're at, that is completely fine. From here, let's roll those fingers in towards each other. And again, we just kind of gently roll back and forth. Now this last one here, we're going to bring our fingers towards be real careful with this one as well, towards the knees. And really pay attention, make sure it's not too much. I know I had a lot of weeding today, so if you're going, oh, I am too. <laughs> we'll share that right now. And if you're not, awesome, cool. Gently release. Take those hands right back to center. Wiggle we'll around in that cat and cow. Couple cat cows right here just for you. And come back to that tabletop position. Tuck the toes ever so slightly and gently. Wiggle those toes a little bit if you would like. Push those hips back up to downward dog. Nice. Now, if you're a little bit looser, you can. Get those heels down a little bit further. If not, that's fine. Again, not perfect. Just working on progress. Never perfection. That's why yoga is so much fun. From here, we're gonna lift a leg, any leg you would like to lift, up to the ceiling. If you want a hip opener, take it. If you don't, that's okay. From here, we're gonna take that knee towards the nose. Then we're going to take that knee in between the thumbs. Setting the back leg down right into that pigeon. Now, if this does not work for you, if you're like, Ooh, what the heck? That's okay. What we're going to do is take that knee that's back and bend it. And then you got it. So you're up in that pigeon pose, thinking about opening the chest. And just really stretching through that hip and breathe. Breathe a little more. When you are ready, we're going to go ahead and come out of that pigeon by lifting up through the arms, coming up on that front knee. If you've got your back knee bent, go ahead and straighten her out. Tuck the toe and go ahead and bring up that back knee and lift up through the front. Nice. Just hang out here in a nice little lunge. Let's go ahead and bring those feet together. Knees can be bent, knees can be straight. We'll go right back into forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold, and halfway lift, forward fold. Let's go back to downward dog. You can hop, you can step, you can move it around. You can think about those uh, heels dropping towards the mat. Now we're just gonna take that other leg, lifting it up. Hip open if you want, you do not have to hip open. Bringing the knee towards the nose, taking that knee in between the thumbs, setting it down, opening the chest. You can take that back knee and bend it. And just breathe into this nice, nice 
and open our stretch. If you know King Pigeon, you want to go to King Pigeon, go ahead. This is your time. Really stretch through those hips. Enjoy. Feel free to wiggle around. What do you need today? This is your time. Breathe and enjoy. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and come up onto that front knee. Take that back leg back, tucking the toes, lifting up, and then place that foot in between the hands. We've got that low lunge going on. And breathe. When you're ready, taking those feet together for forward fold. I bend my knees a lot in forward fold. Feel free to, if you don't want to, that's okay too. Just think about that forward fold, having the flattest back as you possibly can. When you're over, half lift when you're ready. Forward fold. One more half lift. And forward fold. Take it back to that downward dog. You can always hop it if you'd like. From here, knees are going to travel down towards the mat, but they're going to hover about two inches from the mat. Such a good core strengthener here. I know we do this a lot, but it's good for us. All right, go ahead and bring those knees right down to the mat. Tops of the feet into the mat. And let's take those elbows right down to the mat as well. From here, let's slide the legs and the flat back. Go into our sphinx. Squeeze the butt to support that lower back. Feel a nice stretch through the chest. You can make this active by just pushing down into your mat with the tops of your feet. You can really squeeze the butt the whole time. Or if you just need to relax, Hang out and relax. Now from here, we're gonna drop the head to the mat. We're gonna go ahead and take those arms behind. We're gonna reach back, grab the toes. If toe grabbing is not for you, you can be right here, totally fine. Just reach for those toes. And if you want a little more, we're gonna kick the feet into the hands and bring those beautiful legs above the mat as much as you can. Open the chest as much as you can. Three, four, three, two, one. Gently bring those legs down. Let's take those hands off of the feet. And go right back into that sphinx pose. So we take those elbows underneath the shoulders, squeeze the butt, actively push those tops of the feet into the mat. And breathe. Nice. All right, from here, we're going to go into banana. <laughs> I think I like it just because get, I get to say banana. I hope you like it too. We're going to go ahead and bring our hands as forward as possible. My hands might come out of frame, but that's all right with you. We're going to bring our feet close together. We're going to take our forehead down towards the mat and then pick a side, any side. We're going to go ahead and take the same side right over. So our feet and our hands reach the same side, but our body is kind of super glued onto the mat. So you should feel a nice stretch on that side body. Go ahead and come center. And let's banana on the other side. Breathe. And go ahead and come center. Bring those hands under the armpits. 
and lift the chest up using the arms, power through, bring the butt up, all the way back into child's pose. And no worries, we won't be here for very long. Go ahead and come to tabletop. And let's make our way to that easy seat position, anywhere you would like to. And if you have a strap or if you have your bathrobe um, tie, cool. So you will start to use it. Let's go ahead and lay on down on our back. So go ahead and grab your beautiful, beautiful thighs. Inhale, lift the shoulders, exhale, bring the shoulders down. And very slowly and controlled, we just will come right down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, taking the lower back, the mid back, and the shoulders all the way down. You've got your strap kind of bring it with you. We're going to extend one leg. We're going to take the strap around the other leg. So I'm bringing my knee in. So I can bring that strap right there. And then all I'm going to do is straighten that top leg as I gently pull the leg in towards my body. But the leg is straight, not locked out, you know, so you don't want to like hurt your knee or anything. I just want you to feel a really great stretch right in that hamstring and into the glute. If you've been pulling a lot of weeds, bending over, this probably feels pretty good. All right, from here, we're going to go ahead, keep your strap if you have it. If you don't have a strap at all, just bring that leg up. You can also place your hand like right by your thigh to kind of bring it in a little bit or even the top of your um, leg too. Just don't pull on that knee because that would be bad. Be really kind to your knee. All right, gently, gently go ahead and lower. Oh, I can feel that. <laughs> And all we're going to do is put that other leg into the strap and switch it out. Lift her up. Once you get as high as you can, gently. So you can go like even a centimeter. Just so you can really feel. You should be like, oh, because that's how I am. All right, gently lower. You should kind of control it with your strap. We're going to set the strap down, but we're not done using it yet. So feel free just to kind of let it lay wherever it happens to lay. We're going to go ahead and take those arms up high. Chest comes up and we just hold right here. Let's bring that chest down. And then bring that chest up high. Working that upper abdominal muscle. One more time, bring it on down. And lift. Now see if you can brace your core, brace your glutes, drive your heels into the mat and lift. It is not an easy one. So if you felt like your legs were coming up or you needed to use momentum, well, it's okay. It is not perfect. <laughs> we're just going for progress, not perfection. From this position, we can go ahead and come forward. Even more of a nice hamstring stretch. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna make our way back. Hands are gonna be high. Elongate the spine. Shoulders are away from the ears. Slowly lower that body down. Before you set those shoulders on the mat, hold it up. Bring the shoulders down. Hands can go overhead for a second just to breathe. We take the hands up high. Shoulders come off the mat. Hold. We're going to brace the stomach, squeeze the butt, and drive the heels and the legs into the floor. Then come
and forward. All right, from here, let's go into that boat pose. I believe we did that boat pose last week. Let's do it some more. Great for balance, great for the core. We're just bringing our knees up. If you wanna hang on to those um, hamstrings right below the knee, go ahead. If you can bring your hands out, go right ahead. Let's have a little fun with boat. Let's extend one leg, bring it back in, and extend the other leg. Bring it back in. If you want to do both legs, you certainly can. Don't have to though. Extend. Bring it in. Extend. And in. Building up a little bit of heat, hopefully, in that core. Maybe a little bit of heat in the legs. You can do as many or as few as you'd like. And when you're ready, we're going to hang on to our boat. Hands are going to come right below the knee. We're just lengthen through the spine. Set the shoulders down away from the ears. And we're gently going to roll onto the back. Use as much control as you can. Knees come with. Legs come up in the air. Now, if you want to use your strap here and grab it, you certainly can but we're gonna try something fun. I'm gonna take those hands down by the butt. We're gonna really use the core as we gently take the feet, lift them up. Gotta use your hips there, lift them up. And then we can plow over only if you would like. Well, my plow is not very deep. Shoulders are really kind of Holding and steady. And then gently, gently roll back. Lots of control here in the core. Nice. Go ahead and bring those legs right on down. We're going to set them close to the butt. And then let's go for our bridge. So we lift up, squeeze the glutes. You can feel free to take those shoulders underneath, reach for the ankles or interlace the fingers underneath. If it's too easy, feel free to lift a leg. Certainly don't have to. I'm good. <laughs> if you have a lifted leg, go ahead and lift the other leg. That leg was lifted, go ahead and set it down. Stay in bridge for four, three, two, one. Release the hands, release the heels. Gently set that bottom down. Let's do bridge one more time. Wiggle around in this position. Make sure those shoulders are underneath. Reach for the heels as much as you can. Lift up. Squeeze the butt. Again, if it's easy, definitely lift a leg. You can lift, extend it. You can pulse it. So much that you can do here. Or you can just hang out, squeezing the glutes, lifting as much as you can. Don't let it fall. For four, three, two, Gently, gently lower. Awesome. Go ahead and take the hamstrings again. Knees are going to come up. And let's rock our way back up to boat. Stopping at that boat. A little control through the core. And from here, let's make our way to hero pose. So we're just going to bend the knees, coming straight up. If you need a block, go ahead and grab one. We take the knee right underneath. We're going to sit on the heels. Here's our hero. Inhale, lift the arms when you're ready. And from here, take one arm, whichever one you would like, come behind the back. We take the extended arm, 
And we're gonna come behind the back, but down below. So we have cow face hands. Reaching fingers to fingers as much as you can. If hero pose starts to get uncomfortable, definitely come out of it. Go ahead in that easy seat position. Gently release your hands. They both come up. Let's take the other one, drop it behind the head. We're gonna take that lifted one down and up and reach. Tall spine here. And breathe. Opening the chest, stretching through the shoulders. And let's gently go ahead and bring those hands back up. Again, check that hero pose if it's bugging you. Come out of it, okay? No big deal. Exhale those hands down. Hands are going to go right above the knee. Toes are going to tuck underneath. And we're going to go ahead and go to forward fold. Pop her up. Now this forward fold hopefully feels even better than the first few. Hopefully you're loosening up a little bit. Just notice, it's already getting looser. And so, but if not, ah, you will next time, no worries. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. And grab that strap. Inhale, lift. Take that strap with you. Bring that strap high. Now adjust how far you have it. If you have like something narrow, maybe drop the strap altogether. Really gonna work the shoulders here. We're gonna pull that strap tight. Bring it back. It's gonna be behind the head. Okay, as so much as you can. And then drop it if you can. If it hurts, don't do it. You need to bend your elbows. That's okay. Think about making it as long as you possibly can so you don't need to bend the elbows. Pulling it apart, come all the way forward and all the way back. And forward. Squeezing the butt here, grounding through the feet, lengthening through the spine. Should feel good. If it doesn't feel good, skip this one. I know shoulders can be their own little engines and they can be little sneakers sometimes. <laughs> so we have to be careful with them and take care of them. How about one more? And center. Nice. All right. Strap is down for today. Let's go ahead. We have a couple more minutes. So let's go right ahead and go into one leg. We're just going to stand on one leg. Awesome. From our one leg, let's extend that foot forward. Now you can use a strap here if you want. Let's say you're practicing this at, by yourself. You can wrap that strap around and just lift that leg. And from here, let's go to a tree pose. Whether it's a high tree, totally fine, or a low tree, just again, stay away from your joints. From our tree, let's get to a high figure four. Now option, if you wanna grab that foot and get it really nice and close and get that knee towards the ground, that works as well. Gently, gently go ahead and bring those toes down to the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway. And inhale, lift. Go ahead and go to that single leg stance. It's extend that foot if you would like. And if single leg doesn't work for you, maybe you have like a toe down. That's cool. Maybe a heel down. Maybe you're grabbing a wall. That's great. Go where you need to go. From here, tree pose, wherever you would like your tree. All 
from here, that figure four, keeping it high, maybe getting it up high too, getting that foot up high, bending that knee down, working on core strength and balance right here. All right, bringing that foot to the ground. Inhale, lift. Our last forward fold of the day. How does that one feel? Where are your knees? Are they as bent as far as they were at the beginning? Inhale, lift all the way. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Bring it all the way up. Shoulder roll up, back, down. The light in me truly honors the light in you. Hope you guys had fun today. I'm so, so happy to and honored to be here. Namaste.